Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. I am back in the compressor room, which we call room 13, and today's task is to get this wall insulated. I believe I'm going to do this opening as well. I already got the extra plastic on to cover up that door and as I said yesterday I need to cover this with plastic so at that time I believe I'll just cover that whole wall with another layer of plastic I only have this opening doubled so with a double layer of plastic on the door and on here and this insulated it should get nice and toasty warm in here tonight when I came out here this morning, it got to 17 degrees last night, and it was just freezing in here. Because it's so well insulated, it'll slowly lose its heat over the night and get really cold. And then during the day, it slowly loses that cold. So regardless of whether there's sun on the tin out there, it stays like a refrigerator in here. So when I get to the green glue tomorrow hopefully I want to have it nice and warm in here so let's get this stuff off of here get this place swept up and then start cutting some insulation so far I got three pieces in and I got around all of the obstacles on this wall the only thing with this is they're all angled which is no big deal the big thing is on these narrower ones this one's narrow and this one's narrow you have to cut nearly eight feet of this stuff and it really dulls the knife up so I'm gonna have to go get the sharpener and bring it in here get this nice and sharp because this one's narrow as well the end cuts aren't that big of a deal. So I'm going to go do that, have a little bit of lunch at the same time, and hopefully it warms up in here a little bit. It's still pretty cold. I'm guessing it's probably about 40 degrees in here right now. So I'm going to go do that and then get back and get this and that done. All right, back from lunch. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go. Three down, eight to go. These are gonna be a lot easier though. I did bring my sharpener 
and I'm gonna get the knife sharpened and get back to work. These are the compressor accessories, and I'm not sure what's in this one. Let's take a look. But this, or most of this, is going to be installed once I install the compressor. I believe this is, yeah, this is drain lines. Um, what is that? Oiler, water evaporator. What is this? This is the auto drain valve. I believe that's for at the far end there. These are the hockey pucks that it's going to sit on. That's going to isolate the vibration a bit. Got a four pack of those. These are our regulation isolation pads. They have uh, mass loaded vinyl in the middle and then like a hard rubber on both sides so these are going to go on the ground and the hockey pucks are going to go on top of those and then the foot from the compressor goes on top of that what else do we have here this is the uh, oh that's the contactor right there I have a 12 volt or 24 volt I believe it's 24 volt 24 volt switch which is here it's basically just a stop switch this will be mounted on the wall up there this is the main power off and then this this is mounted outside that's where this wire goes to it'll be mounted out on the corner out there it's just an emergency stop what else do I have here 
another switch. Various doodads and gim cracks in here. So all of this stuff will be installed as I'm installing the lines. I have the lines in the house, keeping them warm. Um, it's like a PEX material, so you want it to be flexible when it's time to put it in. This is acoustical foam. It should have diamond patterns on one side, I believe. This is like a terminal. It has a drain at the bottom and then a valve. This is where you plug and you plug in your lines into these. Got one there. One here. I got the rapid air kit and that includes all these mounts, some T's, elbows, and stuff like that. This was a lot neater not that long ago, but it got jostled around. Uh, some stuff for the drain lines. I was going to hook up a cooler to it, but I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. So that's basically it. The, the lines, it's a blue three-quarter inch line, and it will go through the wall. There's a pipe on the other side of this. It's threaded onto the other side. I'll show you where it comes out. There it is, right there. This area is going to get filled with some foam, and then this will be a different nipple, a slightly shorter nipple. And then I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to route the lines. I was going to route one over this way, and I probably still will. If that's the case, I'll put a T here and run one over that way. But one definitely has to go over the top and then split and probably down to there and then down to there. And I probably should have one over here as well. So that's going to be the hell of a job. Mostly because I'll be way up there on a ladder in the winter. So again, this will be mounted. How is this mounted? Is it mounted the other way around? I can't remember. I have to go look at my drawings, but I have blocking in the wall for it. I believe it gets mounted like that and then there is a gland nut for the wiring for the compressor to go into it. I'm not sure why it it has that. This should the wire here should go right through the back of this. I have to go look at my wiring diagram, but that's about how it works. And then the compressor is right over here, a little bit to the right of it. And then you have this little, this hose goes from the, the outlet there and it curves up into here. And that way any water that's in the lines drains back into the tank. And then I do have an automatic drain for the tank as well, but there was some issues with it. I'm going to have to get a new one, I believe. I think that's actually right here. a cage. It's around here somewhere. Anyways, it's a, it's a brass part and it automatically, I forget how it works, but it drains the bottom of the tank and I'll, I'll run a drain right through the wall to the outside and not have to worry about it. So that's the stuff I said I was going to show you today. That's all going to be installed 
probably in a couple of weeks. I got to get ahead on my work over in the breezeway project. I got to get the drywall that I have all installed and then order the next load of drywall. Then I'll get back here and probably install that right away. I don't know. I, once I get the wall on here, I should at least seal up the cracks and get it primed so it's nice and bright in here. It's really dark right now. I don't know. I'll figure that out as I go. So right now, I just got to go to the other side and get my saw horses for the drywall. I'm going to have to cut it like right here. So I'm going to have to move some of this out of the way uh, just so I can get a sheet over here. I don't even know how many sheets I have. I have three half inch and two five eighths. So I should have plenty. I think I'll just use one of the five eighths on the underside of the stairs and then the other one on this opening here. Then I can use the half inch around the room until I run out. Yep, sounds good. So, like I said, I'm gonna leave this heater on. I'm gonna put it on low, and then tomorrow it should be nice and toasty warm in here. And I'll start out, I need to get two layers of drywall under the stairs, and then I can start on the wall. So, hopefully I can get that whole thing done in one day, but it might go into two. But either way, I gotta get this drywalling done. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put it in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.